numbers. Are you ready to learn? So, let's start. First, let's do adding simple fractions. To add fractions, simply add the numerator and copy the denominator, then reduce the answer to its lowest term. For example, 1a plus 2a plus 3a. We add the numerators 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Then copy the denominator a. So, the answer is 6a. Is it possible to reduce it to lowest term? Yes, you're right. Let's reduce 6a. The numerator 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Then the denominator a is equal to 2 times 4. So, since 2 are the same, let's cancel them. So the answer is 3 4. The same way in subtraction. Subtract the numerator and copy the common denominator. Then reduce the answer to its lowest term if possible. For example, 4 fifth minus 1 fifth. So let's subtract the numerators 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Then copy the denominator 5. So, the answer is 3 fifth. Next, let's do adding mixed numbers with similar fractions. In adding mixed numbers with similar fractions, add the whole numbers first. Then write the sum of the numerator and copy the common denominator. Then, reduce the answer to its lowest term if possible. For example, 2 and 5 13 plus 7 and 6 13. So, we add the whole numbers 2 and 7 is equal to 9. Then, let's add the numerators 5 and 6 is equal to 11. Then copy the denominator 13. So the answer is 9 and 11 13. Now let's proceed to the addition of fractions and mixed numbers with the like denominators or dissimilar fractions. Before adding simple fractions or mixed numbers, change the dissimilar to similar fractions first. Perform the operation and reduce the answer to its lowest term if possible. For example, let's add 13 and 3 fourth plus 2 and 1 half. First, add the whole numbers 13 and 2 equals 15. Then add 3 fourth and 1 half. Since they are the similar fractions, make the denominators the same by finding equivalent fractions. Use the listing method to get the LCD. List all the multiples of denominators 4 and 2. Let's keep counting by 4s. 4. 8, 12, 16, and so on. Next, skip counting by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. From these common multiples, choose the least common multiple or LCM of 4 and 2, which is Four. The least common multiple of 4 and 2 is 4. Therefore, 
the LCD of 3 fourth and 1 half is 4. Write the equivalent fractions using the LCD by 4 divided by 4 equals 1 times 3 equals 3. 4 divided by 2 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. The answer is 3 4 and 2 4. We can simply add the numerator 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then copy the denominator 4. The answer is 15 and 5 4. Since 5 4 is an improper fraction, we reduce it to lowest term. We convert 5 4 to log division. 5 divided by 4 equals 1. 1 times 4 equals 4. 5 minus 4 equals 1. We get 1 and 1 4. Let's go back to the whole number 15 plus 1 equals 16 plus 1 fourth equals 16 and 1 fourth. Now, in subtraction, with mixed numbers, subtract 4 and 1 third minus 3 and 3 fifths. First, find the LCD using listing method. List all the multiples of 3 and 5. Let's keep counting by 3's. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Let's keep counting by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Let's identify their common multiples. From these common multiples, choose the least common multiple or LCM of 3 and 5, which is 15. Therefore, the LCD of 1 third and 3 fifths is 15. Let's write the equivalent fractions using the LCD by 15 divided by 3 equals 5 times 1 equals 5. 15 divided by 5 equals 3 times 3 equals 9 since 9 over 15 is bigger than 5 15 we borrow 1 from the integer 4 so change it to 3 and 15 over 15 and then Add to 5, 15. 15 plus 5 equals 20. Then copy the denominator 15. Minus 9, 15. 20 minus 9 equals 11. Then copy the denominator 15. The answer is 11 15. Now you know how to add and subtract simple fractions and mixed numbers. That's all for today, kids. See you next.